All right, so in Ottawa, it's really getting pretty wild. And, uh, you know, this is something I've been talking about now for almost a month or more. Uh, I didn't anticipate this much response from Canadians. Um, but, you know, uh, as of a few days ago and now in Ottawa, we have a an unprecedented as- a response. Um, people are standing up for their rights in Canada. And this is becoming a worldwide movement now where truckers against COVID restrictions and COVID mandates are gathering in envoys in protest of all of these draconian moves from their governments. And um, Ottawa is crowded right now with trucks blowing their horns nonstop and just people of all different creeds, colors, uh, political backgrounds gathering and uniting together against the elites. Um, And the media is trying to portray this as some sort of fringe uh, unacceptable group. Uh, and that's, and I quote that according to, uh, Justin Trudeau, he actually said that the group of people protesting these mandates in Ottawa are fringe and their views are unacceptable. The media is even throwing around uh, an image of like one guy with a Confederate flag and saying that they're all racist. When, if you look at any of these photos, you can see in reality, there's all types of, uh, people. Um, there's all types of people here. You know, you got, you've got a lot of indigenous people. You've got obviously, you know, native Can- Canadians, uh, white Canadians. It doesn't really matter. All of this is, uh, irrelevant, right? It's, it's just Canadians that are against the draconian mandates and they come from all different backgrounds. Uh, you have people with money, people without money, you know, you have rich or at least upper middle class folks. And then you have completely poor or lower middle class folks. It doesn't really matter. It's just people that have a belief that their free, their God given natural rights shouldn't be trampled on by their government. And so uh, now this is the one thing I want to address. It's Saturday. Uh, the big protest is basically today and tomorrow. Um, and there's no real plan. And uh, that's fine. I, 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 this is probably a good thing because in the end, if it were organized by an NGO or, <laughs> you know, one of these, uh, quasi government groups, um, or activist groups or whatever, it would be infiltrated and it would be nonsensical and probably a false flag. Right. But here's the thing. It's totally decentralized and there is no plan. And my word of advice is this, right? It's, you're not going to get anywhere by just having a speaking engagement. Um, you know, uh, writing up a draft of like, we are, uh, uh, not accepting your, uh, unconstitutional mandates anymore. And we're really pissed off, blah, blah, blah. Hear ye, hear ye. No, no, no. What people have to do is they have to make it hurt. And this, uh, in my opinion, and I'm not there, so it's, you know, but it, in my opinion, it has to really be an effort to to block the roadways of Ottawa indefinitely until things change. There has to be a core group of people. I understand not everybody's going to be able to do this, but there has to be a core group of people that stay there and, and in their trucks and cars and don't move. Uh, and and it, you have to make it hurt. This isn't going to work anymore of just saying our piece and going home. The media is going to twist it. They might even still stage something that that makes everybody there look bad or look violent. That government's been known to do things like that. So so be on watch for that. But uh, I also think just going home after this is not going to do anything. Uh, I think they'll just demonize it. Maybe you'll have a couple straggler protests every other weekend after that for a couple of months, but I don't think it will go anywhere. People need to stand in unison together. And I know it's really cold there. I think it's 20 below Celsius or something. So obviously the whole point of this is really, it's an on a convoy. Um, uh, it, so, you know, people need to clog up the arteries of the, uh, roadways in the transport system and the, the, you know, the, the supply lines and, and it, and it has to, this, this is hard to say, and it's, but it has to hurt for the normies. It has to hurt for the average Canadian. They need to see their supply. The, uh, and so here in America, I, I might suffer from this, but this has to be done. You know, we have to cut off the limb that's um, frostbitten. We have to 
do something to clog up the supply lines and so show we're, we're, we're dead serious here we have the power we're the ones that bring you your supplies bring you your food have this supply chain totally um under our thumb and we are the ones that control it and if you don't want to give us our god-given liberties uh, to our medical freedom and and you know right to assemble and you know right to freedom of speech all of these things well then we're just going to clog up the system and make it so it doesn't work and it comes to a halt how do you like that that's what i say that's just my opinion i don't like i understand it's 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 not going to be easy but but i think you know it's like what jesus taught us on the cross there has to be sacrifice there has to be sacrifice so just so you know in the midst of all this coward beta male pathetic loser justin trudeau and his family have left ottawa for a secret location he ran from his outpost his his I, I presume his home in Ottawa, um, and he is running away because he's scared. Him and his advisors are scared that he may be in danger. That is the epitome of cowardice. Um, you know, you can say what you want or would have said about Donald Trump, um, but you know, this is something like Trump or Putin or like a, 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 strong, a strong leader, um, whether the corrupt or not, strong leader. Uh, wouldn't have done something like this. This is a very, very weak, beta, cowardly move. And um, it just shows that the people in power are so disconnected from their people. This guy comes out and he says, uh, it's a fringe el a fringe element of society. Uh, uh, and it's just regular people out there um, in their trucks, in their cars, and some on foot protesting these draconian mandates. And, um, you know, I'll keep people updated on this. I don't know what's going to happen tonight or tomorrow. I, I think the pinnacle of the protest is actually tomorrow um, on Sunday, the uh, 30th of January. And I think people should should stay there. Unless, I mean, if, unless the government caves right away, but I don't see that happening. People should clog up these arteries in, in, in Ottawa and all across any country that is not giving you your rights. Uh, so Canada, um, you know, I wish we would do it in some states here in the U.S., but it's I think the U.S. is kind of free enough that people aren't pissed off enough to do it, at least here. Even even in California and where I am, Rhode Island, where they, they kind of do have some mandates still, but a lot of people aren't enforcing them, and it's kind of like, you know, a lot of, a lot of things are a little bit different here. But, you know, in, in places like Canada, Australia – um, you know, Austria is still having a rough time. New Zealand, you know, I think Italy as well. And where else were there protests? Um, uh, was it Sweden? Um, oh, not sweet. I don't know. But there's there's quite a few countries, Western countries, and all around the world that people are still suffering from this. And this is a great way for us to say no. We have to make it hurt. We have to make it hurt. Pain has to be involved, unfortunately, and I mean politically, uh, pain, political pain, um, um, or, or I should even say economic pain, right? So that being said, let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe here at Resisting the Reset on YouTube, BitChu, Odyssey, and Rumble, and you can follow me on Twitter and Gab, and if you want to contribute to the channel... You can contribute with Patreon or PayPal or any other way. Either way, the most important thing you can do is share this video, like it because it helps it in the algorithm, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. It's been Press. Keep your head up. Stay real and no fear.